Welcome back. Today, I wanted to talk some more about mindset. And I wanted to explain the differences of mindset for working for yourself versus working for the man. And it's a big deal. Uh, mindset is everything. And, and you can go ahead and try to change your mindset while working for the man. You can. But working for yourself, your mindset is even more powerful because you are in control. When you work for the man, you're subject to external forces. It's a, it's a reality. There are just some things you can't change. They keep reducing the staff and putting more on you. That's, that is not a mindset shift that you can change. That's an actual thing. They're, they're reducing the staff and you have to pick up the slack and you're not going to get paid for it. When you work for yourself and you have the mindset of hello. Hi, Ella. This is Diane calling from Tim Fortino's office. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to see if we can schedule a Zoom meeting to go over your accounts with Tim. Yes, let's do that. Okay, and I'm looking we're looking at November. Is it the thirty first or the first? <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get everyone in before the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just hoping that I'm going to ride October or November well enough. Um, you're looking at November 30th? No, no, no. October 31st or November 1st. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's do the 31st. Okay. And we can do something in the morning. Tell me what time is best for you. Uh, how about 11? Okay. But we'll send you a Zoom invite. What's your mom doing? You know, communications with my mom are much harder now that she's living in the um, home. She's moved up a level to um, having to be cared for. Yes. And that hit her mentally a oh. lot. And um, at first, she didn't want to see me because she's still in boxes and things like that. And then she basically couldn't see me because of some other reason. She had, she had reasons. And I'm okay with that. But then, you know, now she wants to see me. And I was on vacation in, for like three weeks in uh, September, you know. And, and now I've come back and I've called her. And I get a text back saying all is good, all is well. And I honestly think that she's struggling not only with her new situation, but also the world events around us, you know, for yeah. <clears throat> people her age, it really brings yeah. up a lot of, you know. Uh, yeah, they, they yeah. 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 Oh. I mean, they've lived through the fallout of events like this. So, yeah. you know. I, I cut her a lot of slack because I love her so much. And I know that if she's pushing me away, it's, it's because she, she needs it. And I know the phone goes both ways. And I also hesitate yeah. to call her sometimes because, you know, I know she's sleeping or it's this or that. Right. So right. It's, it's really hard, you know? So, yeah. um, and I know she's struggling and, you know, Parkinson's is a really brutal, ugly disease that yeah. just takes everything yeah. from you. So, yeah, we haven't heard from her from her for a couple of months now. So, so yeah. it's not just me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We think of her all the time. She's, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I mean, so yes, yeah, she's, she's starting to isolate. She's starting to push people away, you know, and I respect her. I'm, I'm of the belief that we do handle things with our pets much nicer and sweeter than we do our own humans. Oh, and so is yeah. she. So yeah. what she's going through is a cruel twist of fate that, uh -huh. you know, the life has dealt her because she was this wonderful, successful woman. And now, you know, it's, it's just cruel. Yeah. It's just cruel. Yes. You know? Yeah. So I always live with the idea that if I know something happens that she will be happy, <laughs> you know, because, yeah. cause yeah. it's, it's just, it's, she's suffering. You know, so yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. 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 So I'm, I I didn't mean to well, get, get too dark. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. So we will go ahead and, um, yes, definitely we'll set up the Zoom on the uh, 31st. Perfect. I look okay. forward to seeing that email. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. So when you're working for someone else, your mindset is directly affected by the people around you, by the people that you work for, and you may be constantly being hit and bombed with negativity and, you know, things that you know, that you know absolutely just aren't going to work out. So yeah. Mindset's a difficult thing in the business world when you're working with other people and it's not your business. But when you're working on your own business, you can be happy because you are in control. You can make the changes you need to make. You can adapt. You can scale. You can do all these wonderful things that you need to do for your business. And the only one in charge of making those decisions of whether you scale whether or not you hire more people, whether or not you're in the position to um, to go and you know do certain things, whether or not you get more training, whether or not you are able to um, serve more people, when you serve them, how you serve them, you know. So it opens up uh, it opens up more area for joy. It opens up more area for positivity, and especially when you open up the mindset that you can do it. You can run your own business. You can, everybody can. They just need to get disciplined, learn the skills, do the repetition that it takes to do. It's a learned thing. People, Some people are just born um, entrepreneurs, but some people need to work a little harder to, to make it, but they can, that's the beauty of it. They can, you know? Some people have to take the school of hard knocks. And to be honest with you, most successful entrepreneurs actually went through the school of hard knocks. They have had businesses that have failed. And that's what you never hear about is the 10, 15, 20, whatever, however many. For me, it was like three, four businesses before this one, before the ones that actually are successful for them. You know, so things don't always come the way you expect, but if you have a positive mindset and it's yours, you can control that. When you're working for somebody else, you cannot control what's happening to you. You cannot control the fact that you're not getting promoted because another person in a department is saying things to your uppers about something or that you can't get promoted because, um, you know, your boss doesn't think you're worthy, or you can't get promoted because that they don't have the budget, or you can't get promoted because you don't have the training. So when you work for yourself, you're in control of all those things. You're in control of how much money you make, how much money you go after, how much it's just amazing. Your mind will just glow because everything is possible. Everything, you know, it's all in your control. And that mind shift of understanding that you control your future, that you have the power to change things is, is absolutely amazing. And it's so important for people who are entrepreneurs embrace the change, embrace the good things, embrace it. And let's say you are working another job. You, you kind of have to be like two people. You go to your job and you'll work it and, you know, you doing it, you, you do whatever you need to do to keep going to it and keep doing it and maybe shift your mindset that I'm doing this job, but I'm in the background and I'm going to smile because I'm Nobody knows what I'm doing. I am working for myself too. 
I've got these couple hours carved out in the evenings where I am working for myself. Isn't that powerful? You, you suddenly, you'll go to your job and you'll be like, I'm going to get this done because I've got to go home and I want to do this for myself. I want to succeed. I want to do this. I am doing it. Look at this. Look at me. I am opening my business. I'm making steps. I've built my, you know, whatever you've built, your website, your social media, your, your banner, your page, whatever little itty bitty steps you're making towards getting freedom is what will help you change your own mindset and open those doors to your future. You can do it. You really can. And that's the difference between working for the man and working for yourself. You're going to go and you're going to be joyous and you're going to be happy. And, you know, yeah, sure, there's going to be some technology or something that will challenge you for your business. But if you want this business, you're going to muscle through it because, you know, nothing's ever given to us for free. Nothing's ever just granted we have to work for those things that we really want. You know, are you going to be able to open your business right away and make $10,000 a day? Very doubtful. Very doubtful. Unless you have some unfair advantage of, you know, something that other people don't have. And most of us don't have that unfair advantage. Most of us don't have that audience. Most of us don't have, you know, our customer base already set. So, yeah, we're going to have to work for it. In, but that's a fun part. You have to embrace it. Be excited. You have something to share. You have something to give to people. And that's what people need. So if you have it, give it and give it all, especially if it's yours and you're working for yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. It really is. So with that today, everybody, I'm going to let you go. It was a short one. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.